And um, it needs to be said that whatever you think is not who you are, whatever you say is not who you are, or whatever you do is not who you are. So what I was thinking, what I was saying, and what I was doing with my life at that particular time apparently was not who I was. And somebody knew that. And uh, a, a state trooper was sent to me in Mississippi and scolded me. He took me to the Tennessee line. He scolded me. Don't you ever come back here through don't you ever come back through here like that again? Do you know where you are? I said, yeah, I, I know where I am, but I had no choice but to come, come this way. I was on my way to St. Louis, you know. Um, so uh, I, I, I had realized many instances where I created my own reality, even in the most dire, um, uh, most vulnerable situations. Um, and... Um, and then I, I got back to uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, and after have running all around the country, and um, I decided uh, that after 10 years it was enough, and, and my friends all looked at me like, what, what, what are you talking about? You, you, you know, uh, and I walked away from a, 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 a tired a community, a life that I had been living, and moved on the other side of town, and it was near nature, and near the woods, and, um, and uh, the transformation set in. I was uh, on Pleasant Street, and there was a guy in the street, and he he didn't look well to me, you know. Uh, but I don't know if he was drunk. But he said he was. He said, "Who are we? Why are we? Where are we? Why are we here?" And that caught my attention. And I don't know again, um, what the state of his mental health was or, or, or was he intoxicated or not. He, he didn't look right to me, but that question, those questions stuck with me. And, and from that point on, I began to answer those questions. And, and, and at that particular time, I thought the answer to those questions for at least 25, 30 years prior to that, um, I mean, after that, that the theater, was the, and who am I? I'm an actor. Where am I? I'm on the stage, and why am I here to perform for you? You know, and uh, I, I had great joy. I had great fun being a, a, a stage performer. I was always on time. I always came prepared. Um, you know, many directors and choreography choreographers loved me. Um, I had a fan base uh, over there in Massachusetts. I toured with uh, many satellite theater groups, regional theater groups, and um, it's got a nice career for myself uh, as an actor, a stage actor, a triple threat. And um, I never look back, never look back at uh, my past life. Uh, in the All of that, those 10 years in the streets, that was the best education I ever had. Uh, two years I spent in jail was a better degree than my bachelor's degree, which I finally I got at the University of Massachusetts uh, for theater, for, for acting. Um, and so uh, the interfaith pilgrimage of the Middle Passage comes along uh, through Sister Claire and the Peace Pagoda people, they organize that. And I'd like to acknowledge one of my sisters, my dear sisters from that pilgrimage over there. She's here to uh, support me, uh, Tigre Ayanuzi. She was on it um, all, the, all the way, you know, into South Africa and throughout the Caribbean. Um, and but at uh, any rate, um, I had uh, I had walked. I was a walker, my father was a walker, my uncle was a walker. We were all long walkers. We walked long distances, but I, I, I like walking and playing basketball. That's how I stayed in shape. But um, uh, I discovered walking along the bike trails from Amherst to Northampton, it gave me a peace of mind that I had never known before. And I still had a lot of potential violence in me. You know, like uh, if I felt threatened, I know that I would do something to somebody. Um, to protect myself. And uh, walking that bike trail through nature 
singing these songs and doing my affirmations, um, um, I give you, a, I promise myself to be so strong that nothing can disturb my peace of mind, to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person I meet, to make all my friends feel that there is something in them, to look at the sunny side of everything and make all my optimism come true, to think only the best, to work for only the best, to expect only the best, to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are of your own, to forget about the failures of the past and press on the great achievements of the future, to wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile, to be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to p permit the presence of trouble. I learned that back in the 70s, and I had, I had, I had just ran that over and over and over. That's, that's auto-suggestion is the way you cleanse the old habits and the old conditioning, uh, and that was one of my, that was just one of many affirmations that I had to wash my mind of, of, of old thinking to create new realities. Um, and so, uh, you know, 